Here's three tips from an attorney to improve your public speaking. Number one, practice, but don't memorize. If anything, I'll memorize the first and last sentence, but other than that, I'll just work off of bullet points so it sounds more organic and less rehearsed. Number two, don't be afraid of a pause. To you, it might feel like an eternity, but the audience will hardly notice and it can add some dramatic effect. Number three, record yourself practicing on camera. It's gonna feel so awkward at first, but it will help you to eliminate buzzwords like, um, and you know, they're nervous tics. We don't even realize we're doing them until we watch it back on tape. I hope this helps. Here's three tips from an attorney. How to start your speech. Instead of saying, good morning everyone, my name is Anargia and today I will be talking about marine pollution and how it affects the environment. It's a bit basic and less engaging, so why don't you try this? Pollution of the air or of the land all ultimately ends up in the sea. That was a quote by Jacques Cousteau, which has clearly stated the fact that marine pollution is rampant and we must raise our awareness. It is important to know how it affects the environment as well as the society and we must make a change immediately before it's too late. My name is Anargia and it's a lesson that I plan to share with all of you today. How to One of the secrets to becoming a better speaker? Not found in textbooks, but in imitating good public speakers. This is the pro tip on how to do it though. Choose a speaker you like and an iconic speech. Let's go to YouTube. Many of you all over the world use our viral TEDx talk, so let's practice with that. Click the three dots on the right hand corner of the video, then click playback speed and make it go as long as you need to be able to repeat everything the speaker says. My story begins in Caracas, Venezuela, in South America. Do this as long as you need, and I promise you, you will become a better speaker. Oh, bro, you good? Dude, I'm so nervous. I got to give a presentation in front of my class tomorrow. I don't know how to get over the fear of speaking in front of people. Just do what stand-up comedians do and shrink the audience scale. What on earth does that mean? Let me show you on my phone. Next time you have to speak in front of a group of people, pick three people in one area of the audience and talk toward them. You can move your eyes around to different groups of people if you want, but it makes you less nervous to talk toward three people than 10, 20, or even 100 people. I even do this on Zoom calls with a lot of people. It's a lifesaver. Hmm. I'm going to try that tomorrow. Who taught you that? I follow Josh Otusanya. Ah, ah. Ugh.